guys, it's Laura from thisisfitworkouts.com. We have something new for you today. We're gonna do an ab series. This is called Eight Minute Abs. We're gonna have three levels, and today we're gonna do the beginner level. So there's eight exercises. This is for if you're trying to build up your core muscles, let's say some of the moves in my quickies are a little challenging for you, this is gonna be a great place to start building up that foundation. So we're gonna set our timers, as usual, for 50 seconds on, 10 second rest in between just enough time to get to the next exercise. We're gonna work the front, we're gonna work the back, and we're gonna work the obliques for some rotation. So, let's get started. You're gonna need a mat and a towel. So, once it beeps, we're gonna get started. The first exercise is called a long leg chest lift. So, you're gonna lie all the way back and cross one ankle over the other. Hands are folded. Hands folded behind your head. Exhale, bow up. So, I call this a bow. In my style of Pilates, we call it bowing. And what I want you to notice is I'm not reaching my chin for the ceiling. I'm actually letting my neck come up in a natural extension of my spine. And I'm looking at my toes at the top of this move. So you exhale up, inhale down. I want you to lift and lower with control. So it's not a release. You purposely set it back down. Inhale here, exhale here. So this helps you access some of your lower ab muscles as well as upper because your legs are long. Normally we do crunches with our knees bent, but I like this way a little bit better. Okay, so you're gonna grab your towel and you're gonna pull out on that towel and you're gonna have your legs lifted. Both arms lower and one leg. Exhale to bring it back. Inhale long. Exhale to bring it back. Now, my spine is in neutral, and I'm trying really hard not to let my rib cage pop up toward the ceiling. So I'm trying not to let my back arch off the floor. If you need to not lower your leg quite as far, or even your arms, that's fine. So you would start here. If you feel your back peeling off the mat, don't lower quite as far. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You can pull out on that towel and get a little arm work here as well. A little bonus. All right, not too bad. Okay, we're gonna flip over for a Superman. We're gonna do a modified Superman. So Superman looks like this, but you're gonna lift, there's our start, you're gonna lift one arm and the opposite leg, and then set it down. Now, if this is too easy, you can lift both arms and both legs, but this is a nice place to start. If you sit all day, you might find that your back muscles are a little weak, and this is a great exercise to start building up that strength. I want you to think about being long and try not to have your neck lifted, so you're not gonna be looking straight forward. You're gonna keep your neck in line with your spine. So you can play around with lifting and holding for one count, two counts, up to ten counts, whatever. All right, so you're going to sit. Knees are slightly bent. We're going to work the obliques. So I want you to hinge back, arms overhead, and I want you to exhale and twist to one side. Inhale up, exhale. So it might help to hold a towel or something here. I prefer not to. Now, the further back you hinge, the harder this will be. So you're engaged the whole time. If you sit up straight, you're still going to work uh, your obliques with the rotation. Best way to get the obliques is to rotate. So that's why you see that bicycle ab move quite a bit. But that's a really hard move. So this is a nice way to work the obliques in a more gentle way. So you breathe out on the twist. Inhale overhead. All right, that's halfway. So we're gonna do another Superman move. This time, you're gonna pull the towel behind your back. So I'm gonna have this towel here, and I'm gonna pull outward on that towel, and I'm gonna lift, and then come down. 
lift and lower. So notice I'm keeping my neck in line with my spine. I exhale up, inhale down. Now you can lift and hold for as long as you can and then come down for a break. I want you to pull out on the towel. I also want you to reach the towel for your heels. You can squeeze the shoulder blades together a little bit. Inhale down. Excellent. All right, now we're right here for hands and knees plank. This is a fantastic variation for plank. It's harder than it looks. Shoulders directly over hands, hips directly over knees. You tuck your toes under and you lift your knees two inches, that's it. So I want you to work on holding as long as you can. And then you can set it down whenever you need a little break. And then you just come back in. Now, once you're in this position, I want you to pull your abs in nice and tight. And I want you to lift your upper back just a half inch so that you're not sinking into those shoulders too much. And I want you to think about having a nice long spine. Top of the head to tailbone is a long straight line. Pull those abs in and breathe. So you don't want to be here. You don't want to be here. You need to be nice and lifted and then pull the front of your core in so that you're not just working the back. You're also going to feel this in your legs. Good. All right, we're going to flip over. We've got two more exercises. So you're going to be here with your arms out at a low V. We're going to do what we call toe dips. So you hinge at the hip and you dip a toe and you bring it right back up. Now, you're going to feel this in the lower abs, mostly from the rib cage down. What you don't want to do is you don't want to bend your knee. It's not here, it's there. So it's this joint, the hip joint, that is moving, not the knee. The knee stays at a 90 degree bend. You can play around with making this harder by extending that leg reaching it a little bit longer. Or you could do both legs, and that's quite a bit harder. I'm exhaling to bring the knee back, and I can feel this working, and I'm trying not to let my back arch off the mat when I'm there. All right, we have one more move. This is plank and slingshot. So this is a nice way to ease into plank. Plank is difficult when you're just holding right here, but this will give us some movement. So you're going to bend and reach your hips for your heels and then come right back. Inhale here, exhale to bring it back. You get a little stretch in the arms and the chest. The knees go toward the floor, but they don't touch. Anytime you need a rest, you just set your knees down, you catch your breath for a few counts, and then you come back in. Keep the core nice and tight. Okay. So that was just eight minutes. You can obviously do it a couple times in a row. It's a fantastic thing to add right after your regular quickie workout. It's something you could do every day. It's gentle enough. It'll definitely build your core and before too long, you'll find yourself standing up straighter, sitting taller and feeling much stronger. So that's eight minute abs for beginners.